Hey everyone, it's Tier Earth Rent Mason Bees. I am back out at our Bothell location and we are harvesting over 3 million Mason Bee cocoons this season. Um, thank you for returning your blocks. A lot of these bees that we will be harvesting will be going back to our gardening program and then a lot of them will be sent to our farmers to help grow more crops of apples and cherries and blueberries and almonds. So I wanted to show you a little bit about how this whole process works. So we're here in our room where we have all of our blocks. Most of these are already sterilized and cleaned and ready to go for next season. Um, but we still have quite a few yet that we need to harvest. So I wanted to show you our Bob Harvester machine. This is Craig Watts. He's going to demonstrate what we're doing with this harvester. We created and invented this machine to help us extract the cocoons out of the blocks. You'll see that they all still have the mud plug and we're going to turn this thing on and show you how we process the bees and they go through and they get pushed out of the block and uh, go ahead and start up the machine. So as you can see, each block is being pressed out and all the cocoons are coming down. All the debris from the block are being extracted out of the box. And you can see down here, everything is coming out of the blocks. That includes the pollen mites, the mud, the Houdini fly larvae, all of this is coming out. But as you can see, we also have a lot of really great cocoons. So let me show you the next step of how we then clean and clean these cocoons to get them all ready for next season. All right, after we get done extracting all of your cocoons from the nesting blocks, we, as we showed you earlier, have a whole bunch of mud and pollen mites and cocoons that we then pour into this sifting tray and Jim, our owner, We'll sit here and sift the bees, and you can see we try to get off as much dirt and debris as we possibly can. It gets to be quite a dusty process, but we do our best to get as much of the dirt off in the sifting process. And then over here in the fire station, it's really important for us to sterilize every single nesting block that comes in. And as you can see, we move it very slowly over the flames to go through every single cell of your nesting block. That eliminates all the pollen mites and the fungus and any other predators that may be in there. And we completely get rid of all of those, those mites. So it's a really fun, it's actually a really fun thing to watch. Um, and then after that, those sterilized nesting blocks go over to our strapping station where we strap them up and we get them ready for next year. So then you will be sent clean, sterilized nesting blocks for your gardens next year. Um, all ready to go. All right, now that our bees have been sifted and we got as much dirt as possible off of the bees, we give them a bath in our handy dandy bee bath. This is one cup of bleach to 20 gallons of water and we dump our dirty cocoons into the bee bath and we take our handy dandy cat litter scoop and we mix them up and we wash them and we rinse them. For about 15 minutes they soak in this bleach bath and then we take them and we put them onto our conveyor belt to rinse the final cocoons with fresh clean water. We spread them out on our conveyor belt. I'll get a couple of scoops here so you can see it. And then these little cocoons will travel through this bath of water, fresh clean water, get off all the rest of the debris if there's anything remaining on them. They'll come down at the end and they will come out on our drying rack. We spread all of these bees out and as you can see there's just trays and trays down here that we keep rotating. This drying rack will sit overnight and then in the next day we will pick through every single cocoon to pick out the non-viable bee cocoons through our, on our light table. And that is part of our bee bath. After our bees get a bath, we put them on the drying rack and the drying rack dries all of the bees overnight under a large fan. And then we bring the drying rack out the next day and we hand pick through millions of bees, all the ones that are not viable. So we have our volunteer Janet helping us today and we have Michelle helping us pick through all of these cocoons to pick out all the non-viable bees. 
So if you see a cocoon that you can see through, so if you can see this one up close, these, these cocoons are not viable. Something got to these bees and they didn't survive and they didn't make it. So we literally pick out all the cocoons that are not healthy anymore to make sure that next year you're getting healthy, strong bees and that our farmers are getting healthy, strong bees. So then you can see this box over here. All of these cocoons are washed, cleaned, no more predators and healthy and strong to be sent back out to our gardeners and our farmers next year. Um, we are gonna weigh these and then put them into cold storage to keep them safe over winter. And these bees are all sorted by the regions of which we've received them from. So that the bees that you hosted will go back to the states that you hosted them from. So all of these bees are native bees. All right, we've now handpicked through millions of mason bee cocoons to get out all the non-viable bees. They are nice and clean cocoons now, and now we're gonna put them in winter storage. We have a walk-in refrigerator where we store our bees, and we put them at about 37 degree temperatures where they'll sit here and hibernate over winter, and then we will release them the following spring. We will send them back to gardeners and to our farmers to pollinate crops. Thank you for watching our video on our mason bee fall harvest. As you can see, there's a lot of little pieces that go into cleaning and sterilizing and making sure that we return healthy bees back into our environment every spring. Um, if you are interested in becoming a part of our program, not hassling with cleaning your own cocoons, then you can rent a mason bee kit from us. It includes a black house, a nesting block that's sterilized and clean, and 50 to 60 mason bee cocoons that we will put in a PVC pipe. We'll put a little piece of tape on it, and then when you get your kit, you put it and hang it in a sunny spot, take the tape off, and that's all there is to it. And then in September, you just mail your nesting block back to us, and again, they'll go through the mason bee harvesting and cleaning, and we'll take care of all of your bees for you. So if you ever have any questions, give us a call. We have lots of videos online to learn about mason bees, to learn about leaf cutter bees, um, and about all our pollinators and how to take great care of them. So give us a call if you have any questions or pop us an email at info at rentmasonbees.com and we'd be more than happy to help you. Happy pollinating, thank you.